Hello everybody, today is Friday the 17th of May and we are at the Tualatin River National Wildlife, Wildlife Refuge. Uh, this is just right off of Highway 99, which is right here. Uh, just in between King City and Sherwood, Oregon. Uh, just on the outskirts of Sherwood, actually. Oops, as you can see, I'm still in my car. So, we're going to drive in and we're going to check this out. Hopefully, there's some awesome birds or some other wildlife here we can check out while we're here. Be right back. Okay, so we found a place to park. It looks like uh, they have a public restroom here, which is pretty nice. A lot of places don't have that. And of course, something I always like to look for at all of my government-run facilities, Old Glory. Okay, oh, let's see, here's a sign over here. Let's go check it out. Wow. Sorry if the camera works not so great. It's really super bright out here. And I have photosensitive sunglasses or eyeglasses I should say so it's kind of hard to see my screen sometimes okay once again that's the bathroom parking lot one kind of cool thing they do have parking for a hybrid vehicle if you have an electric car they have a charger over here you can use unfortunately oh wait a minute Never mind. I thought today was Monday. I don't know why. It's Friday. So the visitor center should be open. So maybe we can go inside and take a look there and see what they have to offer. First, we'll go over here. We've got a few more signs to check out. And then we've got a view to go look at real quick. These are pretty cool little sculptures. Kind of the story of this place about con conservation. Interesting. Oh, very cool. I guess. Oh wow, this is neat. Out right here they actually have a place, a blind where you can go take photos. Interesting. Looks like they also have a hiking trail that goes all the way around this place. Alright, let's walk over here and see what kind of view we have. Oh, cool. They have a special garden, as you can see here. A pollinator garden. Made just for pollination. That's pretty cool. A little something to look at, plus they're helping out the ecology all at the same time. I like efficiency. Alright. Looks like the time to come here might be in the fall. It says thousands of waterfall arrive here then. This place is much bigger than I thought it was. Let me try and zoom in a little bit here. Wow. It goes all the way over. I don't know if you can see it, but here's a house. 
I think it stops right before their property. So this place is pretty darn big. Well, as you can see, maybe I can't tell if I can zoom in enough. There's someone walking on the trail over here. Faithful assistant spotted a, I don't know, what is it, a crane or something? I have to go over here and get in the shade. Maybe I can see a little better to zoom in. Let's see. I can't, I can't tell if I'm on or not. Some more people walking on the trail over here. All right, I'm gonna go take a peek inside real quick and see what they got in there. All right, so the visitor center's open. We're gonna go check it out. Hmm. Why is my zoom stuck? Oh, I see. something about the beaver in the beaver state. Look at that, they have an actual pelt. Oh, it's pretty soft. Uh, all the food we used to have to find back in the day. they used to use for the cows. A separator. I guess that's how they get the cream out of the milk. Wow. Kind of tells the story of the area. salmon. Cool. Oh, there's a display. It's supposed to be water, I guess. There's a big salmon down there. There's a little trout or something right here. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't know ducks lived in trees. There's a duck in the tree right there. Oh, they're my favorite. The old bald eagle over here. Heck yeah. And there's some kind of little bird here.
Oh, looks like this is the actual giant scissors that they used to cut the ribbon. But maybe not, because if you notice, the handle's different colors. Interesting. Conspiracy? <laughs> Uh, looks like these are all plants that they want to get rid of. Oh, I hate these things. I used to get poked by them all the time. That does not look like easy work. Looks like a lot of people put in a lot of work to make this place open. Ah, tagged them. Interesting. great uncle that used to trap mink long ago when I was a kid. Alright. I guess these are some of the species that you can find around here. Screech owl. Oh, they even have pond turtles. Excellent. Now that's a nice birdhouse. Whoever built that, good job. That's our look at the display. We'll go take a look at the rest here in just a second. I don't know how I missed this on the first go around, but well, first of all, I saw this coyote and then he's got a mouse or something. I don't know how in the world I missed that. And this guy up in the bird feeder. And there's one more guy hiding way up here. <laughs> yeah, so far, uh, I would definitely say if you're into bird watching or bird photography or just wildlife in general, you should definitely come and check this place out. It's pretty cool. Uh, even if you want to just get a little exercise, they have the walking path you can go around. As you can see out here, I don't want to get too much up in anybody's face. I've got a couple of helpful assistants out here to give you any information you might need. Pretty cool place so far. A few things you can get at this store like a little gift shop area. This is pretty cool over here though. They have a couple of telescopes set up where you can look out and see what's going on. There goes a couple of ducks high speed and just landed in the water. Telescopes they have 
and it looks like they're uh, just for anybody public to use that's awesome so definitely recommend if you're out in the Sherwood Oregon area and you want to come see some birds or you just want to buy something from the gift shop or take a walk come check this place out it's definitely worth a visit so until next time Please hit that like and subscribe, share, help me out, and we'll see you next time. Peace.